In a surprising turn of events in the small village of Nwanginj Lodiv, a local farmer, Haymont Shandell, witnessed his Jersey cow give birth to a rare calf that has left the community both amazed and in awe. On January 13, the cow, which had previously delivered three calves with typical features, presented a new calf with an extraordinary anatomy, three eyes, and four nostril holes. The additional eye is located in the center of its forehead, and remarkably, its tail resembles a jada, or a heap of matted hair, and it has an unusually long tongue compared to normal calves. The unusual features of this calf have sparked significant interest and reverence among the villagers, many of whom consider it an incarnation of God, specifically an avatar of Lord Shiva. As news of this extraordinary calf spread, people from surrounding villages and towns began flocking to Shandell's farm. They queued up to worship the calf, bringing offerings of flowers and coconuts. Despite the spiritual interpretations by the locals, Veterinary experts have a different view. According to Dr. Kumlesh Chadria, a private veterinary practitioner, and Dr. Danessa Mishra, these unique physical traits are likely the result of congenital anomalies during the embryo's development, not a supernatural occurrence. They emphasize that such deformities should not be seen as miraculous but rather as a scientific anomaly. Dr. Mishra pointed out that it's common for people, especially in rural areas, to link such unusual occurrences with their faith due to a lack of awareness about congenital conditions. Shandell mentioned that while the calf is a source of fascination, it faces challenges due to its long tongue, which complicates its ability to drink milk naturally from its mother. The farm has been assisting in feeding the calf to ensure it receives adequate nourishment, despite these challenges. The calf is reported to be in good health overall. The village, typically quiet, has become a hub of activity with the influx of visitors. This event highlights the diverse interpretations and reactions from the community and beyond, ranging from scientific explanations by veterinarians to the deep spiritual significance placed on the calf by the locals. In the small village of Bijapur in Odisha, the birth of a unique calf with two heads and three eyes during the auspicious period of Navratri has captured the imagination and attention of the locals. The remarkable event took place at the farm of Dahari Numa who has been farming in the area for many years. According to a report from India today, this peculiar calf has quickly become a local celebrity, drawing crowds who are eager to catch a glimpse of the animal, which they revere as an incarnation of the goddess Durga. The two-headed calf was born amidst the festive celebrations of Navratri, a factor that has contributed to the villagers' belief in its divine nature. The calf's arrival has not only made Bijapur the center of attention but has also sparked spiritual fervor among the people, many of whom have started worshipping the calf. The calf's mother was purchased by the farmer two years prior to this miraculous event. The birth was a challenging one, as the cow experienced difficulties during labor, a local veterinarian, Hanaram, assisted during the delivery and noted the calf's unusual features, due to the calf's condition. It faces challenges in feeding naturally from its mother, requiring the owners to supplement its diet with milk purchased from outside. According to Don Arim, whose son spoke to India today, this has added an unexpected expense and care responsibility for the family. This phenomenon of a two-headed calf is not isolated to Bijapur. A similar case was reported a few months earlier in the village of Shangela, where a cow gave birth to a calf with two heads, two mouths, two ears, and four eyes. Dr. Satya Prakash Pandey, the chief veterinary officer of Shangela, explained that such anomalies typically result from abnormal cellular developments during the embryonic stage. He emphasized that these are not divine occurrences but rather rare genetic anomalies. On a global scale, unusual births and cattle are capturing attention, for instance, Scott English, a rancher and hay broker from Washington experienced a rare event when one of his Angus cross cows gave birth to quadruplets on February 20. While twins are not uncommon in cattle, quadruplets are extraordinarily rare, occurring only once in about 700,000 births, with all four calves surviving healthily being even more exceptional, at about 1 in 11, 2 million, English and his wife Kimberly, who run the English Hay Company, were both astonished and delighted by this rare occurrence. They expanded their operations into cattle back in 2007, which now includes a large herd and a contract with Tyson Fresh Meats. Alongside their hay brokering, trucking, and crop cultivation activities, these extraordinary births not only add to the richness of agricultural life but also offer insights into the complexities of animal genetics and the wonders of nature. In the scenic expanses of southern Idaho, Mr. 
English purchased a group of cows and subsequently transported them back to Washington, recognizing the potential for expansion, he invested in additional land to accommodate the growing herd, especially after the initial cows had successfully calved. Mr. English made a strategic decision to retain all the female calves, heifers, from these cows and bred them the following year. It was then that a fascinating genetic trend began to emerge within the herd. Out of the 125 replacement heifers, 17 remarkably gave birth to twins. This phenomenon could be traced back to the genetics of the original group of cows from Idaho, which seemed to possess a higher propensity for producing multiple births, Mr. English noted. In a typical year, managing around 1,500 cows, we see about 25 sets of twins, and these primarily originate from that initial group of cows or their direct descendants. The calves sired by a Simangus bull were reported to be thriving, among them. The three heifer calves required bottle feeding, while the bull calf stayed with its mother, Mr. English attributes the successful rearing of these animals to his dedicated team, including Alicia Quintero, Margarito Campos, and Robert Jensen, who played crucial roles in ensuring the calves were delivered safely and remained healthy, they did all the right things, he affirmed, praising their skill and attentiveness. In an unrelated but equally astonishing case, a cow in northeast Texas, owned by Jimmy Barling and his wife Dora Rumsey Barling, defied incredible odds by giving birth to quadruplets named Eni, Meanie, Miney, and Moo. The births, which occurred on March 16, were so rare that local veterinarian Mike Baird remarked the odds were about 1 in 11, 2 million. The Barling family, surprised by the multiple births, plan to conduct DNA tests on the three bull calves and the one heifer to confirm they all came from the same mother. This was a shock, it blew our minds, said the 76-year-old Mr. Barling, who, along with his wife, owns about 20 cattle near the borders of Arkansas and Oklahoma. The quadruplets were named by their granddaughter, adding a personal touch to the remarkable event. Dr. Baird, who knows the couple well, expressed near certainty that all four calves were born to the same mother dismissing the possibility of another cow birthing some of the calves. The peculiar circumstances of the birth attracted the attention of the local community and the scientific community alike, underscoring the need for verification to satisfy both scientific inquiry and public curiosity. When the Barlings noticed buzzards circling, they checked on the cow, only to discover she had given birth to four calves, an event so rare it prompted immediate interest and the need for careful documentation and care especially since the mother cow could not nurse all four calves simultaneously. In the nurturing arms of a community, Moo has found solace staying with her mother, while her calves, Eni, Meanie, and Miney, are being cared for by two dedicated caretakers. Miney, the tiniest of the quadruplets, weighs in at about 25 pounds, considerably less than the typical healthy birth weight of 75 pounds for a calf. Consequently, standing in mobility have posed challenges for some of the quadruplets. In the animal kingdom, two-headed creatures often emerge due to the incomplete splitting of embryos. Additionally, such anomalies can arise from various factors that lead to the malformation of a developing embryo, which could be genetic or environmental. These animals are known as bicephalic or dicephalic, and in rare cases, tricephalic. This phenomenon is similar to the formation of conjoined twins in humans, originating from monozygotic twin embryos in humans. Specific types of twinning can result in two heads on a single torso. In Dicephalus parapagus depus, the heads are adjacent, while in Craniopagus parasiticus, the heads are directly connected to each other, but only one head is associated with a functional torso. Although survival to adulthood is rare, it does occur in some instances of Dicephalus parapagus depus. The realm of mythology and symbolism often features multi headed animals, for instance, the double headed eagle. A prevalent emblem in heraldry and vexillology symbolizes a creature that has never actually existed, reflecting on the daily life of a cow. It's not unreasonable to suggest that a significant portion of their thoughts are likely focused on food and their offspring. However, cows also process daily activities, such as the sound of a farmer opening a gate, which might signal milking time. In the context of mixed farming, animals fulfill numerous roles beyond providing products like meat, milk, eggs, wool, and hides, they also hold socio-cultural significance, serving as part of wedding dowries or as gifts and loans that reinforce social bonds. If you've never fully appreciated the wonders of cows, now is an opportune time to begin.
cows are gentle, affectionate, emotional, and intelligent creatures. Mahatma Gandhi once described the cow as a poem of compassion. They are indeed worthy of our compassion, understanding, and respect. Before I embraced veganism, my knowledge of cows was minimal, my experiences limited to brief encounters, typical of a city girl. It was only upon visiting a farm animal sanctuary that I truly appreciated the serene beauty of these creatures. Interacting closely with a cow was a profoundly emotional experience for me. Scientific studies have confirmed that cows are not only intelligent and curious but also capable of critical thinking and problem-solving. They exhibit strong memories and can use past experiences to influence future decisions. When faced with challenges, cows display clear signs of excitement, evidenced by elevated heart rates and active brainwaves. Indeed, cows possess a remarkable capacity for memory and recognition, underscoring their complex cognitive abilities, recognizing faces even after long periods. Cows demonstrate an impressive ability to recall familiar individuals, in addition to their facial recognition skills. Cows also possess a robust spatial memory, this enables them to remember the locations of essential resources such as food, water, and shelter, as well as the best grazing spots. Most crucially, they are adept at remembering where their calves are located, ensuring they can safeguard and nurture their young effectively. The animal kingdom is brimming with hidden mysteries and intriguing behaviors yet to be fully understood or discovered. After watching this story, how do you feel? Feel free to share with us in the comments section below. And then there is another similar warm story, let's continue to see. At the recent Iowa State Fair, a touching story unfolded during the dairy cattle competition. A 15-year-old boy named Mitchell Miner and his charming cow, Audrey, made headlines despite finishing fifth out of seven teams. Their hard work and dedication were evident, but it was a candid moment of rest that captured the hearts of many. After a long day at the fair. Mitchell and Audrey were found napping together in the barn. Mitchell's father, upon discovering the duo in such a serene state, snapped a photo that soon went viral. The image, shared with the caption our son Mitchell and his heifer after showing yesterday, quickly amassed over 15,000 likes in just a day. According to the Des Moines Register, Mitchell's mother, Laura Miner, commented on her son's growing comfort with farm animals, attributing it to the extensive time he spends with them. Although Laura and her husband were raised on a farm, the family now lives elsewhere but is keen on keeping their children connected to their agricultural roots. To this end, they borrow animals during the summer months, allowing their children to experience farm life and build relationships with the animals. Jeremy Miner, Mitchell's father, reflected on the importance of these experiences, emphasizing that they strive to preserve the principles of farm life in their family values. As for Audrey, the beloved cow, she will return to the dairy farm when the show season ends in September. This heartwarming photograph from Williamsburg, Iowa, has gone viral, captivating people worldwide. In the image, young Mitchell Miner, at just 15, is seen snuggling up to Audrey, who is peacefully asleep beside him. Over the past two months leading up to the juvenile dairy cow show at the Iowa State Farm, Mitchell spent nearly every day with Audrey, developing a deep bond and emotional connection. Mitchell believes that Audrey values his presence as much as he values hers. In preparation for the fair, he took meticulous care of her, bathing and grooming the prized cow, who relished the attention. All his efforts culminated in a respectable fifth-place finish, a testament to their hard work and the special bond they share. This story not only highlights the dedication of young Mitchell but also the beauty of human-animal relationships cultivated through genuine care and mutual respect. In the midst of an arduous competition, Mitchell and Audrey found themselves completely drained from the challenging venture. Their exhaustion was amplified by their heightened enthusiasm throughout the event, seeking some solace and companionship. Mitchell ambled over to the barn where Audrey was resting. But he was so overwhelmingly tired that he couldn't keep his eyes open and soon dozed off next to her. This tender scene didn't go unnoticed. Mitchell's father, happening upon the sleeping duo, Mitchell and the cow, Audrey, captured this charming moment with his camera and uploaded the image to the internet. The photograph quickly captured the hearts of many and went viral, garnering a flood of likes and shares as people reveled in the adorable snapshot of Mitchell resting peacefully beside Audrey the cow. This heartwarming story soon found its way into numerous news articles across the country. Online commentators were particularly struck by the cuteness of the photo, with some whimsically expressing a desire to adopt a cow just to experience such cuddly moments themselves. Mitchell's family has deep roots in farming. 
a tradition stretching back generations in their native land, although Mitchell's parents, Laura and Jeremy Minor, were some of the first to step away from the family farm, the essence of farming, its values and strong work ethic, still flowed in their veins. They were keen on instilling these values in Mitchell by giving him a taste of farm life, even enlisting the help of farm animals like Audrey to teach important life lessons. After her stint in the competition, Audrey will be returning to her home in Blairstown, although Mitchell might eventually return to his dairy farm, the experiences and lessons learned during this time will undoubtedly stay with him for life. What are your thoughts on this charming pairing? Do you have a pet that you consider your best friend? We'd love to hear about it. Can goats or cows be considered man's best friend? Historically, dogs have been bred for various roles such as guards, hunters, workers, and companions since their divergence from wolves tens of thousands of years ago. Yet, dogs are not the only animals that have formed close bonds with humans. This raises the question of whether other species might also be deserving of the title man's best friend. Dogs are known for their sophisticated ways of communicating with humans, a field studied under anthrozoology, the science of human-animal relationships. While Charles Darwin once posited that dogs could feel love, it wasn't until 2015 that Japanese scientists provided empirical evidence supporting this, showcasing the deep emotional capacities dogs share with humans. However, the affection displayed in the viral photo of Mitchell and Audrey suggests that other animals like cows can also forge deep, affectionate bonds with humans, challenging the traditional view of dogs as the primary animal companion. In a fascinating series of experiments, Researchers led by Mio Nagasawa sprayed the love hormone oxytocin into dogs' nostrils to explore the emotional bond between dogs and their owners. They observed the interactions between dogs and humans, focusing particularly on the loving gaze shared between them. Subsequently, they measured the levels of oxytocin in the urine of the humans involved and discovered increased levels, providing scientific backing to the deep emotional connection dog owners feel with their furry companions. In addition to dogs, Horses have also been shown to engage in deliberate communicative behaviors with humans. This was highlighted in a study published in the Royal Society's Biology Letters by researchers from Queen Mary University of London. Similarly, goats demonstrated a clear affinity towards humans in another study by the same institution. These studies not only showcased the goats' intelligence but also their ability to communicate effectively with humans. Viewing them as potential partners in problem-solving scenarios, the intelligence of animals and our perceptions of them can be heavily influenced by our familiarity and interactions with them. For instance, while dogs are often perceived as more intelligent, a study from the 1970s revealed that cows could navigate mazes nearly as well as dogs and only slightly less effectively than human children. This study underscores the idea that the methods we use to assess animal intelligence can significantly influence our perceptions of their capabilities. The work of Dr. Anna Wilkinson and her tortoise, Moses, further illustrates this point. Earlier intelligence tests in the 1960s did not favor tortoises, possibly due to their sensitivity to cold temperatures, however. Wilkinson's later research demonstrated that tortoises could engage in sophisticated interspecies communication through gaze-following tasks, a skill previously noted as an indicator of intelligence in primates and employed in the goat intelligence tests. Tortoises, with their long lifespans, proved to be enduring companions, potentially earning the title of man's best friend forever. Our emotional connections with animals are often influenced by direct experiences. Many farmers, for example, developed strong bonds with their cattle, as evidenced by a study from Newcastle University. This study highlighted the deep affection farmers felt for their cows, particularly during the traumatic culling that occurred during the 2001 foot and mouth disease outbreak, for a truly symbiotic human-animal relationship to flourish. It is essential that animals have minimal fear of humans and that their interactions with humans are consistently positive. This was explored in a companion study which examined the impact of positive human interactions on cow milk yield and overall behavior. By conducting a standardized stroking test, researchers confirmed that cows not only returned for more interaction but also visibly enjoyed the human contact. This demonstrated the positive effects of affectionate treatment on animal welfare and productivity. Having personally worked with cows and lived with dogs, I can testify to the fact that cows exhibit emotional capacities and behaviors akin to those of much smaller domestic animals. They respond to positive human interaction with similar levels of engagement and affection. 
underscoring the deep bond that can develop between humans and animals across different species. In 2015, French researchers made an intriguing discovery regarding sheep, revealing that, much like dogs, they appreciate positive interactions with humans. When they're gently stroked, for instance, their ears tend to droop in a relaxed manner, indicating enjoyment and comfort. This finding underscores a significant point. The range of animals that enjoy human contact extends well beyond those we have domesticated. Indeed, our understanding of the animal kingdom's potential is still limited. We've only scratched the surface with the few species we've domesticated, leaving a vast array of creatures, from the intelligent octopus to the mighty rhinoceros, whose capabilities and natural affinities remain largely unexplored. While the rhinoceros might not be the ideal candidate for man's best friend due to obvious health and safety concerns, this doesn't diminish the fact that over a hundred different species have shown signs of intelligence and personality. The challenge lies in developing the methods to effectively communicate and pose questions to these animals. Many species exhibit remarkable feats of intelligence and communication. Take, for example, Irene Pepperberg and her celebrated gray parrot, Alex, over a span of 30 years. Pepperberg's work with Alex has highlighted just how much a bird can comprehend. Further discoveries in animal behavior include the realization that rats not only enjoy being tickled but also emit a kind of chuckling sound, albeit at a frequency inaudible to humans. In certain cognitive tests, sheep have outperformed dogs, demonstrating the ability to recognize and recall photos of other sheep and humans, and even use these images to gauge mood. Even more fascinating is the ability of pigeons to differentiate between works of art. Studies have shown that pigeons can distinguish between the paintings of Monet and Picasso more accurately than first-year art students, showcasing their visual acuity and memory. After hearing this story, do you have any thoughts? Tell us in the comments section below. And then there is a similar warm story, let's expect what will happen. The farmer was unable to contain his shock and amazement when he witnessed the unexpected outcome of his cow's labor. Nature operates as a profound and unpredictable artist in the realm of human experience. It often presents us with remarkable surprises, yet it can also effortlessly dismantle everything in its path. The principle of survival of the fittest and the exclusion of the less adapted have forever dictated the natural order. Predators and flora at the pinnacle of the food chain have developed distinct traits to better adapt to their environments and secure their continued existence. If nature were a canvas, then surely animals would represent its masterpiece. It's the rich biodiversity that lends nature its infinite allure, a cycle of life demanding perpetual renewal. One particular incident occurred during a lengthy birthing process on a farm. The farmers were overtaken by a mix of excitement and disbelief at the sight of the newborn. Creating new life is a wondrous and unparalleled phenomenon, observed both in animals and humans, however. Not all births proceed as smoothly as anticipated, such was the case in today's story. Unfolding on an Australian cattle ranch in May of the previous year, David and Julie Ingram, well-established ranchers in Boning, East Gippsland, had earned a reputation for their expertise in cattle breeding. Their farm was not only successful but also an essential part of the local community. Their familiarity with cattle rearing made them a valuable resource to neighboring farms. The couple was often called upon to assist with the births of new cattle and other animals in the region. That year had been particularly fruitful, with many successful deliveries recorded across East Gippsland. David and Julie themselves had joyously welcomed eight calves to their own farm. Excitement brewed again when David learned that another purebred Hereford cow on their farm was expecting. The Ingrams began their usual meticulous preparations for the pregnancy. They monitored the cow's health and well-being closely, ensuring she was in optimal condition. Initially, all the cattle were housed together in the farm's main barn, which was home to several generations of cows. However, Julie soon noticed that the pregnant cow was behaving unusually sluggishly, showing reduced appetite and signs of malaise. Concerned for her well-being, they decided to move her to a smaller, more secluded barn to rest and prepare for the birth in a calm environment. This smaller barn near the farm was an ideal setting for the cow to focus on her upcoming labor. They provided her with ample fresh water and food, and she seemed to settle uncomfortably. Despite a promising start to her pregnancy, there was a noticeable change a few weeks later. The cow started consuming significantly larger quantities of feed each day and had visibly grown since moving to the smaller stable, David and Julie, although seasoned farmers. 
might have been caught off guard by the sudden changes in their cow's behavior, they noticed that the cow was developing an unusual appetite and was gaining weight at an unexpected rate. Given her size and behavior, Julie speculated that the cow might be pregnant with twins. While it's not particularly rare for cows to have twins, the occurrence isn't overly common either, with the odds standing at around 2%. However, there was something even more extraordinary about this particular pregnancy that they would soon discover. Initially, the couple suspected nothing out of the ordinary and continued with their daily farm routines. With years of farming experience under their belts, David and Julie felt well prepared to handle the situation and provide the necessary care for the cow as her delivery date approached. As time passed, the cow's belly grew noticeably larger, anticipating the birth. David suggested they start monitoring for early signs of labor a month in advance, especially since twin calves often tend to arrive a few weeks early. Not long after they began their vigilant watch, the signs of labor appeared. Neighbors living several farms away could hear the commotion on that eventful night in Australia. The birth turned out to be prolonged and challenging. David, with gloved hands, carefully assisted the first calf into the world. While Julie made every effort to keep the mother cow comfortable, the couple was overjoyed as they welcomed the healthy calf. Julie took the newborn to clean it and ensure it was fed, while David cleaned up the mother and praised her for her strength. As Julie returned, David pondered whether their twin suspicion might have been mistaken, attributing the cow's increased appetite to a particularly tough pregnancy. Just as they were discussing this, they were startled by another scream from the cow. Signaling that their night's work wasn't over, overcome with emotion, David felt tears in his eyes, while Julie chuckled at his tender-hearted reaction, they quickly resumed their positions, David at the back and Julie by the cow's head. After a few intense minutes, another calf was successfully delivered. This birth was not only a testament to their skills and preparedness as farmers but also a beautiful addition to their farm family. Leaving David and Julie with a deep sense of fulfillment and joy. Julie offered words of praise to the cow as David carefully lifted the newborns for the cow to see. That night, in a joyous event, two healthy calves, a male and a female, were successfully delivered. The mother cow appeared to be on the path to full recovery. David and Julie then sat down on the grass, each cradling one of the newborns, thinking their work was complete. However, they were soon to discover that their night was far from over. In the tranquil aftermath of the twins' birth, the cow began to act unusually, pushing her calves away when they attempted to come close. Initially, Julie thought the mother might simply be encouraging them to nurse, but the cow remained unusually still and seemed distressed, a puzzling behavior considering the smooth delivery earlier. Concerned, David set the calves aside to further examine the cow. To his astonishment, he realized the cow was not finished giving birth. He urgently called for Julie's help, and they sprang into action. David quickly donned a new pair of gloves as the cow expressed her discomfort through cries and whimpers. Julie also moved in to provide support and comfort. The couple was astounded when the cow delivered a third calf, making them the proud caretakers of triplet calves. David, unable to contain his excitement, shouted triplets, loudly enough to alert the neighbors. But the surprises didn't end there. In an astounding turn of events, the cow delivered a fourth calf. The rarity of a cow giving birth to quadruplets is exceptionally low, with odds significantly lower than the already rare triplets, which occur about once in 10,000 births. With a mixture of euphoria and relief, David and Julie assisted in the delivery of the fourth calf. They watched with great relief as the cow finally settled into a peaceful slumber after the strenuous births. The farm family had grown by four members in just one night, a truly remarkable event. In a separate but equally surprising incident, a farmer named Bakar in Parsala village, Kerala, experienced a peculiar birth on his farm. His cow gave birth to a calf with two conjoined heads. This rare mutant calf, equipped with four eyes, two mouths, and a pair of ears, instantly turned Basker's farm into a local sensation. Visitors from neighboring villages flocked to see the unusual calf, turning the farm into a tourist attraction. The calf's unique condition presented its challenges. With two tongues, it was unable to drink milk naturally, compassionately, Bakar took to feeding the calf with a bottle, ensuring it received the necessary nourishment. This extraordinary event highlighted the unpredictable and awe-inspiring aspects of nature. Currently, the mother and her calf are in good health. However, the future of the calf remains uncertain. When an animal is born with two heads, it is referred to as bicephaly. This congenital condition can occur in various species. 
including snakes, sharks, bulls, turtles, and prawns. Despite the odds, the little calf has managed to survive, and as it matures, its life is expected to become somewhat easier. In a different context, farmer Nirad Shandel claims that many people believe the calf to be a manifestation of the Hindu god Shiva, also known as the Lord of Kale. In photos and videos, the cow can be seen with a third eye on its forehead and four nostrils. Nirage recalled that initially, when the cow gave birth, they thought the mark on the calf's forehead was a wound. It was only after using a flashlight that they realized it was an eye, and they also discovered the four nostrils. This unusual birth has led many locals to visit their home, especially since the birth occurred at night. The calf moves normally, is able to drink milk from its mother's udder, and seems to make good use of its third eye. It's more like God has visited us, says Nirage. The Indian calf weighs about 30 pounds and has a longer tongue than an average calf, yet it manages to drink normally. The locals believe that the birth of this calf will bring good luck and prosperity to the village, with many showering the animal with gifts such as coconuts and flowers. This is not the first instance of a calf being born with multiple eyes. In May 2021, a three-eyed calf was born in Burmar, North Wales, but was later slaughtered. Although the Indian calf is not destined for slaughter, its future is still uncertain. One livestock department official believes that the animal will not live long, noting that such mutant animals typically do not survive for an extended period. They may either live for up to 24 months or could die within a few weeks. Niraj has consulted a local veterinarian for a medical screening, who confirmed that despite its unusual mutations, the three-eyed calf is currently healthy. The farmer also mentioned that other calves born to this cow previously are in good health. Regarding the unusual appearance of the calf, Dr. Mudan Anand, a private practitioner, emphasized that the cow's extra features are purely a result of scientific anomaly, not related to superstitions or faith. He stressed the importance of educating people, especially those from rural areas who might worship such animals. Local veterinarians have begun awareness campaigns to prevent such practices. Despite many viewing the calf as a divine visitation, it's crucial to approach this situation with a scientific understanding and ensure the welfare of the calf as it grows. In a rare occurrence that some considered a divine miracle, a calf was born with a deformity. The local veterinarian, however, attributed the abnormality to a hormonal disorder. Despite the scientific explanation, the response from the local community indicated that the calf was perceived as extraordinarily significant. The young calf struggled to maintain its balance and stand upright, a common challenge for newborn calves, but the public's reaction was one of awe and reverence. Large crowds gathered, viewing the calf's condition as something of great importance, perhaps even a sign or symbol. Amidst this unusual event, observations were made about the maternal instincts displayed by animals. It was noted that the maternal love in animals could potentially surpass even human affection in its depth and impact. The enduring power of such maternal devotion is considered one of the strongest emotional forces in nature, capable of achieving incredible feats. This incident highlighted not only the unique occurrence of the calf's birth, but also the profound nature of maternal bonds in the animal kingdom. Do you have any insights after watching the above three stories? Feel free to tell us in the comment sections below.